Yeah, welcome to my channel. Okay, we are asked to find sine theta equals k. Sorry, if sine theta equals k, we are asked to find sine theta. So how do you go about this? No number was given, nothing. Just this value, k. Well, it's a very easy something because this is under trigonometry. All right, let's do it together. When you look at this particular question now, it's true we are not given any number, but the one we are given is enough. First of all, in trigonometry, what is sine theta? What is sine theta? So let's go ahead and solve this. Now, in trigonometry, sine theta is equal to opposite. Opposite over what? Opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. Okay? That is sine theta. Now, what is tan theta in trigonometry? Our tan theta is equal to what? Opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent. Now, the main question here is, what is opposite? What is hypotenuse? What is adjacent? What are we even talking about? Okay, let me introduce you to the three ratios. The sine, the cosine, and the tangent. Let me show you. When you draw a right angle triangle, this is a right angle triangle. Okay? You are going to have a right angle here, right? Now, the side of this right angle triangle that is facing this right angle here is called the hypotenuse. It is called the hypotenuse. And it's always the longest side of this triangle. Okay? Now, assuming this is our angle, which we refer to as theta, the side of this triangle that is facing that angle is the opposite. That is why we call it what? The opposite. It is opposite the angle. All right. Now, the remaining side is what? Adjacent. The remaining side is what? Adjacent. Okay. So, these are the three parts of this right-angled triangle. So, we are now told that if this theta now, we are going to... Okay. See this acronym that I use is so ka toa. What does that stand for? It stands for the fact that our sign is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. Our cos is equal to adjacent over what? Hypotenuse. Our tan is equal to opposite over adjacent. Hope you are following me. So, it's an acronym. I call it so ka tua. So ka tua. That is how I remember the ratios, okay? Now, out of these three ratios, we are asked to solve for this and this, the sine and the cos. So, that is how I got that my tan is equal to opposite over what? Adjacent. And my sine is equal to opposite over what? Hypotenuse. And remember, I've already shown you what the right angle triangle looks like. Okay, having gotten this now, you will believe me that when we say that sine theta is equal to, when we say that sine theta is equal to opposite over what? Hypotenuse. And we are told that our sine theta is equal to K. Remember that this is what we are giving. Now, know that the only way the answer should be K is if this K is divided by 1, right? That is the only way our answer will be K. That means that our opposite is K and our hypotenuse is 1. So it means that in this triangle now, I'm going to clean this opposite and I'm going to write what? K. Our opposite is K. Then I'm going to clean this hypotenuse and I'll write our hypotenuse to be 1. So that way, we have gotten what? The value of our hypotenuse and our opposite. It's now remaining the value of our adjacent. And you know that we need it for us to get our tan theta. We need it here. Okay? So how do we now get the value of our adjacent? Let's call this adjacent. Let's call it X. Okay? Remember the Pythagoras theorem. The Pythagoras theorem says that in a right angle triangle, that the hypotenuse squared, that is this longest side squared, is equal to the other side, the sum of the other sides squared. See what it means. According to Pythagoras theorem, it says that this hypotenuse, which is 1, this 1 squared, is equal to this side squared, which is x squared, plus this k squared, this k squared. That is according to Pythagoras theorem. Now, let's go ahead and solve this. 
Remember that we are looking for the value of x. We need our x, which is adjacent. So first of all, we write this one squared. This plus k squared, if it crosses the equation sign, it becomes minus k squared is equal to x squared. That way we are left with x here. Okay, so we have formed this particular equation that 1 squared minus k squared is equal to x squared. Okay, if you have followed me to this stage, it means that you are enjoying what I'm doing. So I think it's time for you to hit that subscription button. Okay, click on that subscription button and then click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Okay, I want you for you to subscribe. Mm? <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Let's go ahead and get the value of this our tan theta. Okay, now we've gotten that one squared. See where we are. One squared minus k squared is equal to x squared. But we are looking for x. That is the adjacent, right? Now, what is our x? Our x. For us to get our x, it means we are going to take the square root of both sides. So, square root of x squared will give us x is equal to square root of what? 1 squared minus k squared. Do you understand? Alright, now, it means that our x is equal to square root of 1 squared is also 1. So, no need of putting squared there again. 1 squared is also 1 minus k squared. Okay, at this point now, Remember that we are told to find tan theta, tan theta. And we said that our tan theta is equal to what? Opposite over what? Adjacent. Now, what is our opposite? Our opposite is what? K. So you write your K all over. What is our adjacent? Our adjacent is this X. And we have found it to be what? Square root of 1 minus K squared. And this becomes your answer. Do have a lovely day and bye.